all right burn stack devops system design projects and open source hi everyone and welcome to the 100x devs live cohort part 2 this video we'll discuss how was the first cohort what is being covered in the next cohort who should join who should not join and what will be the price let's get right into it before we start i want to set the ground okay this is how the first cohort was the first cohort was launched five months ago it was originally supposed to be two months we extended it to five months there were 50 live sessions some offline sessions as well tas were there throughout for the five months and around two lakh rupees were distributed to students in bounties this is basically 50 to 100 dollars you win if you solve something during the live class this was probably a subset of what we covered the original curriculum was this this was the original curriculum that we were supposed to cover in two months eventually i realized okay, we need to extend we need to know a lot more things if we want to in the real world make actual contributions which is why we did everything feel free to pause here and read through all the technologies that we learned in the past five months cohort 2 will be divided into two parts we want to make sure we can take beginners and advanced people together two big feedbacks from the first cohort were number one the price was too high we have taken care of that number two extremely beginner person or extremely advanced person was like what is happening beginner person did not understand advanced person k i did not sign up for this i already know this to make sure you can make an informed decision we have divided the cohort into two parts first part is going to be zero to one it is as the name suggests supposed to take you from zero to one it will take you through web development in the month stack basics to advance you will cover almost all the topics i mentioned in this a few slides ago that are related to the month stack some we will skip some we will do based on what is currently relevant devops basics understanding how you can deploy your applications open source contributions and setting up projects for gsoc projects not for good real world companies gsoc projects are slightly easier to understand and that's what you want to focus on if you're going zero to one lastly we will be building one portfolio project it is a pretty interesting project i will cover in the next slide that's the zero to one journey if you already know the month stack very well this part is not from for you if you were part of the first cohort this part is definitely not for you we have definitely covered this and much more in the first cohort so don't sign up for this if you already know the month stack well you will feel that the things are going really slow 1 to 100 is if you know the month stack or if you know coding really well if you can build websites deploy them very well on your own can understand gsoc projects then 1 to 100 is for you we'll be covering system design how to monitor systems in the real world, AWS, some more DevOps, open source contributions in real companies that are businesses, real-time communication, advanced backend communication, and two capstone projects. I'm mostly interested in projects here. All of this will be extremely assignment driven. You have to put in the work, not me. I'm there to guide and teach. But in the end, the more projects you build, the more you will learn. Zero to one is going to be three months at the very least. We will try to stick to three months here. I don't want to keep extending. If I committed to and it became five months, does not mean I'm committing five months here and it will become a year. We will try our best to stick to five months and three months for zero to one. If we feel like this, we need to slow down, we will increase more offline videos. We'll try to cover the slavers in other ways. We will try our best to stick to three months for zero to one. It will be focused on GSOC and it will. the goal is to make you a junior engineer. Junior is a conservative term here, but again, the things that we are covering in today's market, I consider that to be a junior engineer. The project we are doing here is Paytm or any financial wallet. We want to make sure we understand backend slightly heavily or databases slightly heavily, which wallets are the best use case for, which is why that's the project we are doing in 0 to 1. 1 to 100 is going to be 2 months, maybe a little bit more. We'll be looking at real code bases and trying to contribute to them, setting them up locally. This is focused on making you a senior engineer. And the two projects we'll be doing here would be Zeroda and Zapier. I already made a video on Zeroda where I covered how it is built. We'll be doing it end to end, front end, back end, deploying other financial systems, bots, all that jazz. In 1 to 100, Paytm also, I've released a video or I will release a video where I've co I'll cover how this is made in the real world. I want to keep contributing to YouTube as well and provide free content. You don't have to buy this. Don't be pressured into buying anything. If you feel syllabus is relevant and you want to join either one of these sites, this is the early bird price. For the first section, it's just 4,000 rupees. Just is a, a subjective term, but I think it's 4,000 is decent. 
if you want just the second bit again 4000 rupees if you want everything which means the first section and the second section as well it's 5000 bucks i feel it's a reasonable price it is we have to really squeeze to make this happen <laughs> it's only valid for 500 people uh, it, this is the lowest it'll ever be it will not go to this price ever again um, few things that might help you decide which one you should uh, choose in case you, you, you're struggling to decide if you should go with part one, part two or both. This is a senior engineer market, which means it's easier to get hired as a senior engineer than a junior engineer today. During the pull, everyone gets hired, but during the bear, you have to be a little conservative. Going zero to one is good, but what really differentiates you is senior engineer stuff. Beginner stuff is always on YouTube as well. You just have to push yourself. You can do it. Senior stuff, if someone guides you, it's slightly better. But if you're a complete beginner, do not dive directly into the 1 to 100 cohort. You will get overwhelmed. Go from 0 to 100. That's my advice. Feel free to pick and choose. I feel both the prices are reasonable and we'll, we've tried to go as low as we could. Uh, hopefully, this is not too bad and does not cause any sort of a controversy. And we can get students and whoever you who wants to join um again this is only valid for 500 folks i think after that is when we have to increase the prices to make sure the math for ta's work but yeah this is the price in case you feel like it's relevant feel free to join a few reviews from the last cohort the average rating was 4.75 it was completely anonymous you did not have to give your email most of the people selected excellent which was the top level around 10 percent selected good and around three and four reviews were okay okay as well no one selected bad people could prank and select bad no one selected bad as a review it was either excellent or good and very little okay okay like three or four posts on twitter and linkedin there are around 200 that are linked in the description in a, a google doc you can read through what people have learned how their journey has been how it has helped them it's all twitter and linkedin posts that people have put throughout the last cohort People have gotten jobs, people have gotten internships, people have gotten promotions. Some of these people are comfortable coming on the channel that I will through a podcast. A lot of people are not. That is just how remote job or remote works. works. People don't want to put their life on the internet. Uh, I have zero contribution in this. Job, interview, promotion totally depends on you. Only happens for people who are very self-motivated engineers. If that is you, if you are ready to take up a challenge for the next five months, then it makes sense. If you're going to be complacent and if you feel listening to me is going to be enough to make you a good engineer in the next five months, that's not the case, then don't join. The logistics of it are going to be, it'll start somewhere at the end of November. I have to leave and take a break for some time. After that, we will try to start it. We will aim to start end of November. Worst case, it will be 1st of December or whatever is the weekend that comes. We will try to have extra classes before that in case it gets extended by this much. But the goal is to start end of November. Class schedule will be 7 to 9 p.m. IST, that's Indian Silent Time Live classes. Recordings will be available in case you miss the classes. And there is a two-year expiry for the cohort. So you have access to the recordings for the next two years. That is all I wanted to cover. If you feel it's relevant, if you want to join, if you have the time over the next five months to do a lot of coding yourself while I guide you, then feel free to join. If you feel this is not the right time, if you are not yet motivated, Feel free to wait and then, you know, make an informed decision eventually. The prices, as I said, are these. Feel free to make an informed decision. Feel free to talk to people from the last cohort. The comment section is completely open for people in the last cohort. And we have incentivized people in the last cohort to buy this one as well. With that, I hope to see a few of you here. The ones that I don't see in the cohort, I will see on YouTube. I am off to San Francisco for around two weeks, after which we will start this cohort. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.